So as a fractionless CMO, if I came to you as a mortgage business owner, I want more mortgage inquiries being generated, what are some strategies that you would recommend for me? Let's say I'm just a startup. So as a mortgage broker, if you're looking to grow your business, first and foremost, you need to make certain you've chose the right brand, branding, the right niche mm -hmm. um, of what you want to go for, and then choosing the right domain name of, yeah. what, of what you want to go with, and then getting a website built would be the first place I would start. And then obviously then once you chose your branding name, I'd love to try and get the social media mm -hmm. accounts to compensate that as well. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, everywhere where you think potentially your clients could be yeah. kind of hanging out. What one thing to add to that as well is obviously with websites and SEO, you know yourself that it can take a considerable amount of time to rank, especially for something in the finance industry. Um, so a few quick wins that I would recommend in that, especially if you're just setting up as a mortgage broker, is you can obviously start daily posting on LinkedIn. You might actually end up getting some commercial mortgages and obviously you know yourself, commercial mortgages a lot, a lot more um, in for the actual mortgage broker. You can also set up um, ads on actual Facebook marketplace. Um, I, I call them ads, but they're actually free to set up and it takes literally a couple minutes to set up really. And whenever somebody's searching on the Facebook marketplace, they can they can see that, oh, hey, James is doing mortgages, let's, let's inquire with him. Um, so just a few things prior to even setting up a website, you can actually launch those right now as, as you're watching this video, you can actually do those, do those things. But let's say you've done the Facebook marketplace, you've done the websites, now what's next? I think if I was, he was asking me if I was a mortgage broker and how I'm going to grow my business, the first steps I would do is go and find a quality lead generation company. Right. That's the first thing I would do. Um, I'm slightly biased. Obviously, I own FatRank, and FatRank does a no risk supply of inquiries. So you only pay on conversions. So I would start there because there's zero risk involved. Mm -hmm. And then I'd go down the route of going, okay, but then I won't put all the eggs in one basket. So I would go to Fat Rank and I'd go, okay, any inquiries that you get that we do, we're specialists in, let's say, remortgages, or we're specialists in terraced houses, or it could be first time buyer mortgages and stuff like that. You'd want to go down and, and sub niche within somewhere where you go, this is what I'm an expert in. And then do the lead, buy, start getting the leads from Fat Rank on that. But I would also go to one or two others, these places like Bark. Um, and other places like that that do lead generation. So that would get me leads today, right, through my door that I can then be trying to convert and try and turn into making profit. Then after that, then you then can start looking at a bit, a little bit more longer term on, on your website and doing some sort of SEO. Yeah. Um, I think you're better probably expanding on that with regards to what SEO is for anyone that doesn't know or the importance of content and battlings. Yeah, so just one thing to add to what, what you've said is if you guys are going to go down the bark strategy, and obviously we, we've spoke to hundreds of business yeah. owners by now, um, one thing that is a commonality on, on websites like Bark and Check a Trade and stuff is the KPI. So if you're getting a lead at, let's say, 2 p.m., but you're not following up with that lead until the next day, or let's say it's a lead that Bark has generated and you're only purchasing it after a couple of days, that person's probably already dealt with by another mortgage broker. Would you, would you agree yeah, with me in saying that? Definitely, yeah. Um, so then going to the actual SEO strategy for your website, I think it's it's super important to rank on, on position one. Um, and I was watching a podcast and it's actually really true. If you're ranking it on, like, let's say position four or five right on Google, um, so let's say somebody's searching for a mortgage broker near me um, in your position five. Typically, if you're, if, you, if you're getting the clicks at position five, it's actually people that have went to competitors and they're just shopping around for the cheapest price. So you're actually getting the... The, the worst type of leads. Yeah, the worst type of leads, yeah. really. Um, so try to rank position number one. Obviously, um, with, with SEO, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it sound a lot less complicated than what it is but 
basically for every single service that you provide as a mortgage broker, you want an actual dedicated SEO optimized page for, so for example, commercial mortgages, residential mortgages, first time mortgages, all of these you should have dedicated pages for optimizing it for your actual local area. And then basically if you, I'm going to assume that you're going to have a technically built site. Um, and then basically you need to start doing some link building and that's that's almost getting mentions from other websites pointing through to your website. Yeah. There's other strategies that people can be doing with regards to traditional marketing or advertising strategies. There's got stuff like TV ads, radio ads, getting listed in magazines. But the truth of the matter is a lot of these platforms, you can't check your KPIs. You can't be checking what return on investment that you're getting, how many leads that you're generating specifically from that billboard or TV ad or radio ad. Where if you do run, you mentioned on like Facebook ads and you could even run PPC in AdWords within Google, which is paying for clicks to be at the top of Google search. That's another strategy that you can be doing. Generally speaking, it's expensive to do it. Generally speaking, it would be very difficult for you to try to get that winning campaign for you to get a return on investment. Um, so there's lots of different strategies you can do. Just, just back onto the bark scenario as well, which is a little bit important, and I don't mean to slander any other companies, but generally speaking, bark would sell that same lead. You were talking about ranking position number five. I would sell that same lead to four or five um, different mortgage brokers. So you're not getting exclusive leads. Now, if I was you, I would be looking to try and find a lead generation company that provides you with real-time exclusive leads. They're the best leads that you can get that you can converse on. So always try to look down that route yeah. before going trying to find 10 different lead generation companies. Um, SEO is a long-term strategy. You're not going to be generating leads tomorrow by doing SEO. It is a long-term strategy, but it's also very good as well for branding. So if someone is coming to you and you're called um, Kazra Mortgages, people might, when they're getting closer to signing up with yourself and getting the mortgage from one of your lenders, they might want to know who is Kazra Mortgages. So not just from an SEO standpoint, but from a reputation management standpoint, how good do you look online? The amount of people that we speak to that have got a really nice shop on the high street that do mortgages, no, but we're five times bigger than this company over here. But online, they look a lot smaller. And if people haven't been to their shop, they're going to think they're not as good as this other one that they're saying is a lot smaller that looks better online. So always be making certain you're trying to build out your reviews and your testimonials from existing clients of what you have, as well as trying to do SEO as well. Having a non-optimized website for SEO is kind of like having a shop in a back alley that nobody walks past. So yeah. try to rank, obviously, for your local area. Let's say, for example, some of you guys might actually do mortgages nationwide. To be honest, most uh, mortgage brokers probably would do. Um, if you can start ranking for nationwide keywords, that 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 that's that works out very brilliantly. But going back to actually growing the actual um, business, let's say you've started to generate some inquiries. What are some ways that you can obviously expand on that? Like one of the me methodologies that a lot of people um, rely on is word of mouth. And obviously, word of mouth is is good, but you can't build a, a consistent flow of inquiries doing that. So what, what's, what's some other strategies that you like? So word of mouth is probably the best converting lead that you can get, but obviously like, you're restricted by the volume of word of mouth leads that you can get. The, there's lots of others, obviously lots of different types. You can get mortgages from, like you said, PPC, from SEO, from Facebook ads, from just being active on social media, um, lead generation companies. There's lots of different ways of how you can grow the leads out. Is there any others that you know of that? So an another strategy that I would consider is, and this is a little bit more technical, but if you have a CRM system, let's say I, I sign you up to a four year uh, mortgage. If I have a notification in, in, let's say three and a half years time to, to message James 
and say, hey, your mortgage is coming up for renewal. Do you want, do you want to remortgage, basically? That's a brilliant way of getting people to, to just re-buying off you. And it's, it's essentially working off your previous client base as well. Yeah. So some of you guys watching this might already have done bit mortgages for the past 10 years, let's say. But you're not reactivating that that list of clients that you've worked with for for the past ten years. It's not always about acquiring new as well. It's about basically working the previous leads that you've done. Yeah, for sure. And I think also two massive points and could be sucking ads here with some mortgage brokers. Now a lot of them already know about this. But average transactional value. How can you increase that? If you're looking to grow your business, it's not always about new leads coming in. Yeah, that's very, very important. But could you, with this customer, help to get income, income protection, life insurance? Could you also be helping them and passing them on to a conveyancer that could help you by giving you leads in return or pay you some sort of finance fee and commission? So not only then does it become that you're earning some money off the fees from the mortgage, but your average transactional kind of value that you get in the ATV you're increasing that per customer, which is huge. What you're talking about there with a CRM system in following them up in two, three or four years' time, a couple of months prior to them going on like a, a variable rate as opposed to like a fixed rate, you could be nurturing them and explaining to them the latest interest rates. Yeah. And then from there then saying, look, we've got a great deal that could potentially get you into another two-year, three-year fixed rate deal, which is... 1%, 2% or whatever it is below the base rate of what's going out there. We think you should go into this. Next minute, your lifetime value of that customer now has increased because now you've not just got um, a mortgage. You've now put them on a remortgage a few years down the line. And again, that's all different ways of looking to grow your mortgage business. So not just new leads, but trying to get the most out of existing leads as well. Yeah, definitely. I, I, and not, not only that is once once you actually have all of these different kickbacks, let's say you are selling them um, insurance for their house as well. So that might be an extra £200 that you're earning per client. You can actually start spending more on acquiring new customers. Like for example, if, if you're going up against a well-established uh, mortgage broker, they might be able to spend £600 on acquiring one converted lead, whereas for somebody that's not got a slick back-end system, they're not upselling all of these different services, you might only be able to spend £200 to make it actually worthwhile and profitable for your for your uh, company. So there's just all of these small bits that you need to understand when it comes to growing a business. I think it's important before doing anything is to hire a fractional CMO or hire a consultant, literally just for an hour, hire a consultant for an hour that can basically turn around and look at where you're at in your cycle. We could be talking about, oh, you need to go and choose a brand and build a website. Yeah, there could be a mortgage broker watching this that's 15 years established. Yeah. But then when you start looking at the brand and you start looking at the reputation management, it's not good enough. So that consultant could say, as well as looking for new clients, we also feel you should be trying to improve your reviews on your Google business profile or your trust pilot or something like that. But also then making certain that they do have a consistent flow of inquiries coming in. So are they using a good lead generation company? A good consultant can sit down within 30 minutes and, and come up with some sort of plan, check to see where they're spending money at present, see where they're wasting money. That's a big part. Where they're wasting time and where they're wasting money. And that one 30-minute kind of call can turn around and transform them to say, stop spending money here where you're not being guaranteed any sort of return on investment. Start putting some into this, which could guarantee you a return on investment, or this for long-term growth with regards to SEO and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Is, is there anything else that you want to, to add? No, I'd say just... Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you are growing your mortgage broker business. And if you are looking for some more advice, um, you can contact myself on me at jamesdooley.com or how can they get in touch with you? Me at, at casualdash.com or I, I'm, I'm certain both of our links will be in the description. So just click any one of our links and then... Yeah, I strongly recommend trying to book in for a 30-minute consultation call to see holistically 
what will work best for your mortgage broker company.